live direct from Exoso Market Studio. So we have Brian as usual, and uh, of course, uh, both of us tonight are in <laughs> the studio. So uh, we have a very clear um, camera, okay, both sides. So it's very, very, very uh, exciting. So we hope that uh, we will continue. Um, yes, this live talk show for um, its benefits to everybody. So of course, uh, all right. So Brian, so everything good? Yeah, it's always good when we are back here again. And this time yes. we are in the studio. <laughs> right. So uh, <laughs> uh, of course, uh, we have uh, very exciting uh, topics for tonight. And I hope uh, everybody, thank you for watching us live uh, tonight. And I hope please share our videos to, uh, to, the, to your friends. We have the topics for tonight. The first topic uh, will be Ernst and Young's launches uh, application to help US crypto investor with tax filings. So the second is a guide to alternate coin selections, right? So tonight uh, we, we have uh, Brian to guide us on how to select the alternate coins, all right? And uh, the third is uh, Jim Rogers. Okay, the value of Bitcoins we drop to zero. And of course the fourth is uh, Bitcoin wheels. Right, uh, exchange withdrawal hints at five digit price in July. So the last one we will do our market analysis, uh, analysis for Bitcoin and alternate coins. So Brian. Okay. So how's everyone today? How's everyone is feeling? Okay. So today is another brand new session, new episode every single Wednesday. I will actually come out with new topic, new content for those people who are new in the crypto space. And of course today I prepared five uh, four topics four points and it's quite interesting especially for those people who are trading in crypto and for those who are new you can also learn as well okay so let's get started i will share my screen now all right let's go let's go okay so let's see everyone can can see or is there any lag yep. okay so today the main the main topic right now i'm going to discuss is regarding Ernst and young is actually one of the auditing firm Okay, they actually audits uh, income tax, income of the company annual report. And of course, Ernst and Young, they recently launched an application app to help crypto investors in the US to do their own tax filing. So whatever profit and loss from trading in crypto, whether it's holding crypto. So in US right now, they are taking very serious in terms of crypto tax filing. So that's why Ernst and Young, as you can see, they are into helping them to create this app or so that those people can able to file their tax for crypto. So it benefits both ways as well in terms of trader and also the government. So both sides also will benefit from it, right? So you can see Earn Sen Young has introduced a new app, help US crypto traders to calculate and file their crypto tax without any hassle. Okay, so EY Crypto Prep App software as a service SAAS, web based crypto tax engine. Right? So, what it does, it actually helps crypto investors, right? whatever profit or loss, because it's really hard to calculate for people who are traders, how are they going to calculate their win, winning and losing? Because every time when they, they trade, they can, they can only see their outcome of their trading, trading portfolio, right? Like they are trading in Binance. You can see green and loss, but how many people are actually keeping track on their profit and losses? So for Ernst and Young to come up with this app is really a beauty and also a huge solution for those people who are actually filing tax. Okay, so you can see crypto related gains and losses that have to be reported on form 8949. So this form to be used to report sales and exchange of capital asset. Okay. And you see, according to June 18, all right, statement from Ernst & Young, one of the four largest accounting companies in the world. All right? So what they are providing, the engine offers step-by-step -step guidance hmm. through the crypto tax process. User of the application, okay? So you can see supports major digital asset. So most likely will be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all those major crypto. And then what it does, it actually connects the app to the exchanges. To collect data okay so sooner or later for those people who are opening ex any exchanger account so Ernst and young when you download this app everything more will be linked everything more will be traceable right especially for those people who are in the us 
Okay, EY crypto prep is the app. Okay, aggregate and reconcile the data before applying relevant tax rule. All right, and you can see whether it's per capital gain or losses. So the app actually calculates or they pull rate how they actually determine a trader whether it is profit or loss or to determine whether are they qualified to pay tax or not throughout the annual annual trading performance. All right. So you can see our clients increasingly hold and trade crypto asset, creating the need for innovative solutions to address the evolving complexity around filing crypto taxes. Okay. So this is one way how they actually move forward for those people who are actually paying tax. Okay. So Ernst and Young actually came out with this solution for everyone, especially those people in the crypto space to able to follow up their tax in the cryptocurrency trading. Okay. And then you can see auditing software for cryptocurrencies called EY blockchain in April, 2018. All right. So you can see EY crypto asset accounting tax, a tool that facilitates accounting and tax coverage for crypto transaction targeted at both institutional and retail investors. So institutional also is not spared. They have to declare tax also. Okay. Bank traders, hedge fund. Okay. So all these people have to pay tax. EY crypto expands innovative portfolio of successful new digital business, said Chairak Patel. So this will be the founder. Okay. So basically this is Ernst and Yang. They mm -hmm. create this app for the benefit for crypto traders and also the government. So it's a win-win situation for them. And of course, for those people who are paying tax, also they will feel the pinch, especially in the US. Okay. So this is point number one. All right. Ernst and Yang. Now I head to point number two. Okay, today I want to share with you much more detail in the exchanger. Especially, I will move on into the crypto exchange like Binance. How you can actually select altcoin because there are many many type of coins out there in the market. What you are seeing right now is the big picture, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple. People are only focusing on the big, when you say on the big price, but they do not know that altcoin has so much potential to actually not only 100 times or 1,000 times gain, but in a way that some coins are gem coins, some coins are actually very rare, that have a potential to outpace Bitcoin's performance and Ethereum and other coins as well. Because why? Because of the market cap is very low, right? And also very few adoption of that coin. And when I'm talking about that coin, they have a proven backup technology behind it. So this is the article, the definitive, definitive guide to altcoin selection. How can you actually choose a proper altcoin for your portfolio besides mm. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum and all the top coins. Okay. So you can see with the exponential growth of market over the past 18 months, especially now find them in difficult position attempting to narrow down and select altcoins. Because you have to understand Bitcoin is the mother of all coins, but how much Bitcoin can actually give you that amount of gains compared to smaller coins because smaller coins are the poten real potential right when it comes after the bitcoin halving okay so these are the few checklists that that this article given now the main checklist here you can see the circulation sub circulating supply must be around 500,000 to 1 billion this is the coin supply how much is the company willing to supply to the public Right. Sometimes oversupply also is quite dangerous, right? It will cause oversupply means overvaluation and then most people won't, won't buy the coin. Oversupply. So they have a circulation supply must be around 500k to 1b. That is very standard. So maximum supply will be around also 1 billion. Sometimes if you see it's more than 1 billion, so you have to stay away from that, right? Network value about 1 million to 1 billion. Okay, now the exchanges that you can look for are well-known exchanges like Binance, Bitrex, Polonex, CryptoBridge, KuCoin, Livecoin, TradeOrch. So these are the few top exchanges here. 
that they listed. They give you a checklist so that you know that this coin is serious when they go into this thing, go into initial coin offering when they list your coin. Okay. Percentage max supply method, 10% to limit inflation. Okay. And then there are a lot of there are a lot of criteria here, checklist, all right, which I will highlight to you on the next one. So I will share with you the crypto exchange. Okay, how I normally pick. Okay, so this is Binance. Right? If you can see, this is the Binance website homepage. This is the overall crypto market. Right? Even Binance have their own coin as well, BNB. Okay, so the main one here will be BTC against USD, Ethereum USD. All right. So what you can see right now, they have segregate between their own coin, Binance market, segregate with Bitcoin and then the fiat market, which is USD. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for Bitcoin market, you can see they have all kinds of cryptocurrency here pairing with BTC, pairing with Bitcoin. So if you are were to look for altcoins, alternate coin. So one of the main criteria here you can look for is the market cap. So market cap plays a huge role in terms of price movement, in terms of whether this price can actually give you that kind of potential, uh, not only returns, but stability. One thing, is, one thing is good. And of course, the circulation of supply. So example, this market cap is only 54 million. Okay, this is Elrond. So you can, so if example, I click L1, okay, this is only 54 million. Okay, when I click this coin, L1, right, can they were brief, they were bring me into this chart. Okay, then they have a trading facilities here to trade. But overall, we want to see what is the total volume. Okay, this is the tradable volume. Total per day up to now is 729 BTC traded. So that means you can consider this coin, altcoin is considered active in the market. But if you look at 24 hour volume, let's say if it's less than 10 BTC or probably double digit, that means it's not so active. Okay, 24 hour volume, if it's double digit BTC, right, that means it's not considered active. It's very low. All right. Okay, for L1, you can see market cap is 54 million. Okay, 24 hour volume globally, all right, it's 40.3 million. Now, very yeah, important you can see is the circulation supply. This is about 10, 10.6 billion, this one. Okay, and then you will see the price, you see the issuing price is not even a cent. So that's the reason between choosing altcoin and compared to Bitcoin. You have to look at the price also, right? Why, why is the price is less than one cent? Because of the circulation of supply. So usually around one billion and above, their coin price usually will start from less than one cent. It's not even a cent usually. Okay, usually the price is not even one, one cent. Usually it will start at triple zero and then point, you know, how many decimal here? One, two, three, four. Well, four decimal. Right, so this is one way to actually look into our point also, and then you have to see who are the teams and developer. So Binance usually they furnish with all those kind of information, right? Who are the team behind? What is their project all about? And then initial coin offering, how much do they allocate for public? And also, what do they use for their coin? So they allocate certain coin, some of the coin into private or private funding marketing and then company reserve also right ecosystem community fund so all this allocation asset allocation for their own team members and they have a certain allocation for their own public funds as well right so all this happening on May 2019 last year itself they have ICO right public listed quite new huh? okay yeah okay so this is Elron Okay, there's another one you can share. Okay, V chain. Okay, just share with you a few more. Okay, this is another one. Okay, this is the one that I recently entered last month. This is called Coti C O T I. You see the market cap is only seven point nine million. 
Okay, 7.9 million, but the price is only 2.5 cents at the moment. Right? Okay, so quality is here. Okay, example, you see the market cap is only 7.9 million. That means the market adoption is very low, very new. And of course, for this, I usually take advantage of the price. And it's only 2.5 cents at the moment. Okay, total global volume is how much? 2.4 million. Circulating is only 312 million. Okay, so when the issue the price is only 6.5 cents, right? Now it's already 2, now it's only what? 2.5. It drop half okay so you can see this is the one here to make sure how much are they circulating their supply two two billion they are giving up okay now circulating is 300 million so all this you have to take note it's like doing it's like doing research on the stock market regarding about companies performance uh, companies what they call p and l right what is their latest dividend to their shareholders? So this is for crypto. This is your this is our own due diligence, our own study in order to pick a right point. This is one way to identify the back supply and circulating supply. Okay, and then how much can it can it can it go? How high can it go? So market cap actually determines the price to actually go up. Now, if the market cap price is more than one B, let's say it's after one billion. The movement to actually gain from that is quite tough compared to a million dollar market cap. Okay, so I will compare with you in another another point. So this is the team, right? For COTI, right? They even show what is this coin all about. So Coti is an enterprise grade fintech platform with cross chain, cross chain interoperability, and built on its own DAG based system, chain chain. Okay, so every coin have their own function, right? And usage is called a utility token, right? So that's why it's not easy to list in Binance as well. They want to mm. see your paperwork, your white paper. Is it really genuine project? Or not? Yep. And of course, you can see right. these are VC meaning venture capitalists. They have big funders who actually fund in for this project, right? Wave Financial recruit selling partners. So these are all investors, VC investors. Okay, so I want this is a good way to actually analyze a project if you want to invest in altcoins. coins. Okay, now I want to compare with another coin. Koti against this coin is called Chainlink. Okay, Chainlink, you can see the market cap is already 1.6 billion. Okay. 1.6 so million. Is, you know, you put that 1,000 here. 1,600 1, is actually 1 B. You can see here. Oh, 1 B, eh? Mm. So, yeah, 1, 1 billion market cap. Okay. So, chain link. So, chain link is called the missing link or it's called the oracle for Ethereum. It's a second grade for Ethereum, they say. Mm -hmm. most, most analysts, they mentioned. So, this is 1 billion, actually, 1.6 billion market cap. So, the issuing price was 11 cents at the time. Okay, 2017. Now, the, you, you see the circulating supply. So, the less circulating supply, the chances of coin to go up is huge compared to massive circulation supply. So, this is one way to pick a project also. As long as the company is reducing the circulation supply, mm -hmm. as at least a few hundred million, not to one billion, because one billion means it's quite tough. So, when you have a circulation supply about a few hundred million, then the chances of the coin to go up is very strong, very high. Now it's already at 4.7. Okay, so it already break, it already reached the all-time high. I'm going to retest at five dollars again and eventually break. Okay, so these are the team. You can, you can see maximum supply is one billion. Okay, circulating currently is 250. So they max it at one B only. Okay, so you can see the potential, the massive adoption. For, for chain link. So chain link, you can see total traded volume is 2,695 Bitcoin. So it's huge. It's a lot per day itself. So you can see the demand is higher, right? The demand is a lot there. Okay. 
Then another one is called Ezos, so XEZ. Okay. XEZ also 1 billion, 1.6 billion also. Quite huge, quite huge also. Huh? Yeah, huge market cap. So this one all have potential. And of course you can see, yeah, if you want to look at this kind of coin market cap, 1.6 billion, if you want to 10x, 100x, it's not possible compared to a coin which is low market cap, few hundred billion, mm -hmm. which is possible. Now the coin market cap, have already reached 1.6 billion it's not possible to 100x it's really tough right huge huge demand actually okay Tezos, you can see 1000 bitcoin traded daily okay oh, daily 1, daily traded 1000 okay market cap 1.6 billion total global volume how much 81.9 million Circulating is currently 600 million. Mm -hmm. okay. Last issuing price was 45 cents. Now it's already 2 cents. Oh, now in $2.68. Cent. Crazy, yeah. 65 here. Yeah, okay. So you can see the all time high, it went up to $12. Okay, it went up to $12. If okay, you went you to $12, the price I is think 800 million. It's quite a huge amount of uh, returns. Uh. Yeah, correct. So this is maximum supply 800 million. Circulating currently is 600 million. So another 200k more for the total supply to complete. All right. And then you can see this is the team. And then what is this coin all about? Right. It's a self amending blockchain. It can be involved by upgrading itself. So all this you have to do your own diligence if you want to buy altcoins. There are many other altcoins, but you have to be careful also. Right. Always look at reviews, always look at data analytics, and of course, rely on reliable source of data from crypto mm -hmm. experts and people who are in the crypto for many years. So that's why they can able to advise you whether this altcoin is good or not. So this is basically an example how you can actually look into altcoins and also the market cap, how much of coin supply, right, in order to determine a well-known altcoin. Okay. All right, so this is basically I have mentioned to you. What do you need to do in order to purchase our coins, right? Besides Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, which is already the market cap is already billion. So when it goes to billion, it's really hard to push up, right? So people time sometimes people cannot wait. They they want to get rich faster. That's what many people are always having impatient, right? So what they do, they move their Bitcoin to altcoin to have a quicker gain, right? Some crypto veteran traders, they like to move their Bitcoin to altcoin so that to, to take advantage of the, the trend, right? So this is what's happening, okay? So this is the definite guide to altcoin. Now I move on to the next, next point. Okay, mm -hmm. so this one also is something like last week's news. Every time there's always good and bad. Okay. So you can see investment guru Jim Rogers, the value of Bitcoin will drop to zero. So again, I've mentioned many times already. Every time when this kind of news will happen, this is a good opportunity to buy. Because what is their intention is that they, they will say all kinds of negative things so that they have a chance to actually buy Bitcoin at a lower price. So that people who fear will sell their Bitcoin and this this is how people will buy. Okay, so let's let's go into into this info. The investment guru said that Bitcoin is in a bubble as early as twenty seventeen, and then speculated that all cryptocurrencies were gone, will be gone eventually. So he stayed. See hmm. a lot of things ongoing, and then he said what during an interview, Jim Rogers said what, including Bitcoin will be declined eventually. Every, yeah everything will be go into zero those who use cryptocurrency think they are smarter than the governments okay in fact they are correct but the governments have something that crypto crypto people don't have that is guns the reason why i think cryptocurrency will be gone eventually is that it is not based on the armed force of government's power so every time they want to focus on government power government issuance right? mm -hmm. as long as is government approved then they are okay with it but if it's not government approved, then they are against it. It's always like that. 
So you're talking about crypto, yeah, in this era now, 2020, everything will be decentralized, everything will be much more private, right? Not now we are giving ourselves a chance to be mm -hmm. away from those governments who are actually controlling our asset, our money. Right? So crypto is one way, a tr true miracle, I would say, in term, true miracle in the finance industry. Okay? And then when you add on some of crypto, it's just gambling. So another negative sentiment came out from Jim Rogers, one of the famous investors as well. Okay? Said BTC looks and smells like bubble. This was prior to cryptocurrency reaching all-time high over 20k in last December 2017. Okay? So you can see cryptocurrencies didn't even exist a few years ago. But in a blink of eye, they became 100, 1000 times much more valuable. So he keep saying it is a clear bubble and he don't even know the right price. Virtual currency is not an investment target, it's just gambling. So again, many times these people, they can come up with kind of statement. They know that Bitcoin have value, store of value. But what, what is their agenda here to actually give it, releasing this negative statement to the public so that people out there will have fear and then they will eventually sell their asset, Bitcoin asset, so that people like Tim Rogers, people like JP Morgan, like Goldman Sachs will buy in behind the scene. That is their main, main agenda here. Right? So don't buy into all these news. Whenever I see these news, I will look for opportunity to buy. So that is one good thing to actually look for this kind of news. Negative news, but look for buy. Right? So that, that is how I see the news. All right? So don't take it too seriously. Don't, don't fear, don't panic. This is the year of halving. And of course, if Bitcoin and other coins will eventually will continue to climb and we will see a bull market towards end of this year. Okay. Yep. So, of course, for this year, especially this coming few months, especially July and August, now I'm going to highlight the next point, which is the Bitcoin bills exchange, right? Withdrawal seen at five digit price in July. So, in July, if you look at the historical data, all the previous halving, from July, August, it is a bad month for Bitcoin and other coins, right? Mm -hmm. It's a bear market. Right, if you look at the previous month, I mean the previous historical data of even though for all the halving, you see July, August onwards is always the down, it's always downtrend. And once the correction is done, it then only towards September to December, then only you will see Bitcoin start to climb back again. So what is your strategy here? What's my strategy here? Look for the dips, look for the when price dips, what are you going to do? Right, so maybe you want to save some USD to actually go into BTC. Right, every time price dips, you should know how to dollar cost average. Now, today's this topic here, Bitcoin bills exchange withdrawal. Right, you can see price performance tends to flip bullish for four months after big real withdrawals from exchange. So bills here plays an important part as well for the Bitcoin price. Okay, Bitcoin investors should buy BTC when bills do one thing. Bull runs begin several months later. Okay. The that was the last insight of Ki Yong Ju, the CEO of on-chain analysis resources, to reveal when wills withdraw Bitcoin, it's time to enter the market. So this is one way you can actually look into, right? When wills withdraw from their withdraw Bitcoin from your exchanges, it's time to go in. Okay. And then it's buy BTC before wills cycle up. This is the time where you should take advantage, right? Now. Take advantage of the fear, right? While people are fear, while people are scared, uncertain, this is the time to go in and grab some Bitcoin. So invest at your own risk and of course do not invest more than you cannot afford to lose. Right? So uploading two charts comparing Bitcoin 2017 and 2019 bull run. Okay, so you can see this is the, the market comparison here. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is 2018, 2019. Bitcoin average exchange withdrawal. Huge right here. Okay. So this is the four month gap here. It's a huge, I would say huge, uh, okay. Huge amount of withdrawals, right? From the exchanger. Because these are all wheels activity, you can see, right? In fact, this evening, Bitcoin price actually dropped uh, one hour, two hour candle, one to four hour candle, huge drop just now. 
right? From 97, 96, now again 93, go back down again. Okay. Right? So bull trend factors converge for Bitcoin. Right? Coin Telegraph reported other metrics also suggested that Bitcoin is rebounding from a price bottom. Okay. Exchange reserves are now back near their lowest since 2018 December when Bitcoin traded at 3001. Then you can see miners also selling less BTC. Okay. Having briefly sold more than what they earned in the aftermath of May's block subsidy halving. Okay. So there are all kinds of potential here right now. How you can actually look into the crypto marketing space. Okay. And how do you actually anticipate the market? Mm -hmm. So these are the four points that I mentioned. Hopefully this added value to your insight and how you can actually take advantage on the market as well. Right? So I'm going to share with you on the crypto altcoin analysis. So today I think okay. there's uh I think within 24 hours, the uh, whales move 125 million in BTC from Binance. This is the latest news. Yeah. I think it's quite huge, also 125 million. Yeah, so when they make that kind of move, it will move the market also very quite quite, quite dangerous, also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so this is the crypto altcoin market. Overall mm. market, you can see monthly is total trend is downtrend. Sideway market also. Okay. Sideway market. Okay, total trend is sideway. Right. If I look into weekly, also it's at ranging market. Okay, last last extreme was extreme sell also. And then Bollinger Band is squeeze. Okay, so squeeze there is an entry in bigger time frame which is monthly. Okay, so at the moment it's still undecisive, but if you can see in monthly here, to the it's already bottom out already. Okay, this is the low band. This area is the major support. So how low can it go some more for our coin, especially after the halving? Okay, so these are all the possibilities now for. Altcoin. The altcoin, if it drops, these are the next possible support. Okay, 371, 345, if you continue again. If Bitcoin doesn't perform, this is the possibility now. Okay. okay. These are all the levels it will try to retest below. Okay. And if altcoin were to perform, these are all the level. Okay, it will try to retest here. Right, this from monthly. Monthly sell zone. And then top band, the next one, and then the highest one was here, reverse retest candle. So all this ranging, all this price zone, they will try to retest. For okay. oh, this is a crypto out weekly. Okay. Now for daily, you can see what's happening. Okay, daily. What's happening here? Ladder here, eh? Looks like it's going down. Yeah, the trend trend channel is down actually. Okay. So the thing is current price cannot break past top band. I mean the middle band. What happened? You have a rejection again. Okay. So right now it's at the buy zone for daily. Okay. And weekly also buy zone. So I will believe weekly and daily most likely will play ranging again. Okay. It's a ranging market again, so you try to play around this zone, or eventually, if let's say you were to break, so there are a few possibilities, right? You test the lower band, okay? All these are the major major support, mm -hmm. okay? All this is the critical support area for our point, okay? So this is the worst case scenario like if they try to break break even down, right? For our coin daily. Okay. So H4 more wow, huge. Say so extreme DPW MHB candlestick change of direction. So change of direction from buy to sell. Okay. So huge move, huge change of direction. So every candlestick change of direction got re-entry. So most likely price might retrace 
short term back up again and then most likely come down. So you can actually look for short term buy at the moment. Now. Good chance to buy now actually. Yep. For this setup, H4. H4 setup, good to buy, buy to sell. Okay. So that is my analysis for the crypto altcoin. All right. So hope everyone can benefit from this. And of course, if you are ready to trade, Exosure offers you the best leverage, best margin. You can also open an account with Exosure. So we do offer cryptocurrency for those people who want to trade. Right, Sha? Yep. And PM, uh, yeah. Mr. Brian, if you have any uh, questions or anything to how to open your accounts, how to trade on cryptos, uh, not only in Exosio, in Binance, in Luno, how to open, uh, how to start up your portfolio in cryptos, you can always direct to us, right? Can direct to Brian. Yep. So it's very interesting. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So with that, I end my session and I will pass the screen sharing to you. Yep. So basically, so okay, guys. So we will, I'll share my screen, okay, uh, the Bitcoin's uh, analysis. So, right, let's have a look. So, all right, so we have my uh, Bitcoin uh, analysis here. So basically, um, Bitcoin uh, is still on a range market, right? It's still uh, on between 10,000 and 8,000, I think around 9,000. Yeah, so we have uh, the price is today uh, is around 9,300 right so it drops okay so it's currently I think basically price is going down and uh, high probability it will retest the support level again right the psychology uh, the psychology or the round numbers the now 9,000 support level so uh, anyhow okay uh, we should see the movement by end of this week and um, I hope the price is still uh, in between uh, 10,000 and 9,000. So of course, the opportunity for us to bought uh, the Bitcoins is at uh, 9,000, right? The next support is still the same, uh, is at around 8,000, right? So these two support level is very uh, important. Uh, it's around 9,000 and 8,000, right? So we are still waiting uh, for the price to break through 10,000. So uh yeah so this is the analysis for um uh, Bitcoin and uh of course you can get my analysis uh from the websites Exosomis website and Telegram channel daily for uh intraday trade for Bitcoins and uh, cryptocurrencies yes of course you can direct to me all right um or Brian uh for the analysis especially uh, on the alternate coins. Ethereum, uh, Bitcoins, Ripples, and all the Ethernet coins. All right, so we can guide you and how to trade uh, and how to buy or <laughs> how to keep your Bitcoin. So I think uh, we'll go back to the main screen. All right, with Brian. Okay, so let's go back. So Brian, so we are back to our main screen. Okay, and uh, do you have any tips for us? <laughs> Yeah, of course, uh, a few things need to share, especially coming July and August onwards. So we will expect another market correction mm. that is expected to happen. So what happened when the price as when the price dropped, right? That is what usually happens after halving. So not to panic, but to take advantage of the situation. Right? You want to do dollar cost averaging. Right? Don't go in one lump sum. Let's say you have a budget of one Bitcoin, you don't put straight away buy one lump sum of Bitcoin, maybe 0 0.1 at 9,000, another 0 0.1 at 8,005, and another right. 0 0.1 at 8K. So this is one way to actually dollar cost average so that you don't risk everything at one go. Right? This is how you actually accumulate when the price drops even more. So July, August, it will be a crucial month for Bitcoin as well. And if Bitcoin doesn't perform, other coins also will drop. Mm -hmm. So that is my advice and to take note what is really happening. Right in the crypto market space. So once so, after July, August, then you will see some sunshine, most likely. Right? That's the time when Bitcoin will start to go parabolic. Okay. So is there any specific uh months that uh the investor will dump or yes, like 
the stock market usually they sell they say sell in May. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So of course you're going to see more negative news coming out from banks, coming out from this type of investor, mm-hmm. right? The well-known wealthy investor, right? There they will they will probably issue another release statement. There you go. Bitcoin have failed to deliver, right? Look at Bitcoin. It's going to be a bubble. So this news is going to come come out when Bitcoin price drop. All right. Right. And when this kind of news come out, price even drop. People fear. People sell. And then other people will take off, take advantage of their price and buy buy more. Okay. So you have to be careful of all this. You know, it's expected to happen again. Okay. Right. Especially last halving, also the same thing. Also, uh, Bitcoin is a bubble. It's going to crash. And then eventually, what happened? It went parabolic. So it's it's repeated cycle. Same thing happening. Okay. I think the uh, if we are trading, not even uh even the forex stocks safely, I think almost yeah, it's almost the basics of trading is about almost the same, right? Yeah. The movement. Yeah, correct. Huge movement. So we have to see Bitcoin. And the S and P five hundred because at the moment it's still correlating with each other, right? So Federal Reserve keep printing the dollar <laughs> to yeah. st- to stimulate the economy and also the stock market is the the golden egg for them. So if the economy crash, everything crash. So they have to do whatever it takes to maintain and stabilize. That is their main concern now, right? So now we yeah. are. Actually, we are entering a global recession. So, uh, I just read the news from uh, INF, IMF from Bloomberg. So, we are almost uh, at four point nine percent of global recessions, and by uh, I think previously uh, was three point nine. Yes, so uh, it's quite huge. Uh, so, stay safe, right? <laughs> yes, we are currently in COVID nineteen recession. So, uh, yes. We must be aware of the the current situations, and also we have the second wave of the coronavirus in uh I think in US, so <laughs> hopefully yeah. in Malaysia still uh we have two digits or one digit cases every day, yes, right. Yeah, correct. So you have to stay safe and of course be alert. So I think that's all, Brian. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, once again, thank you guys for your time and your participation. So stay tuned for our next episode every Wednesday. All right. So all right. with that, we will conclude our episode. Thank you guys once again. Take care and good night. See you. Good night. See you guys next right. week. Ciao.